there's one big misconception in the climate debate. The idea that whenever Earth supported life, its climate must have been pretty much like it is today. First, let's look at how false that is, and then why the kind of change we're worried about now could take Earth back to conditions it's seen before, yet still be catastrophic for us. Instead of one single climate that suits all life, Earth has constantly shifted between different climates that support different species. For most of its history, the planet's climate was only conducive to single-celled microbes too small to see. Even during the relatively short period with visible life, the climate kept changing, supporting one group of creatures, then another. You might wonder, what about the dinosaurs? Try this yourself. Ask AI, would large dinosaurs struggle to survive in today's cooler, low oxygen world? You'll find that while smaller bird-like species would be fine, the larger ones, like T. rex, would feel like they were living at the base camp of Everest, sluggish, struggling, and most likely, unable to catch enough food to survive. Sorry, Jurassic Park. Even small changes in climate can determine not only whether a species survives, but how well and in what numbers it survives. The full video, linked here, fact checks this and shows that if Earth's 4.5 billion year history were compressed into one day, the kind of climate that supports humans would last less than seven minutes and the stable climate that allowed for civilization just 0.22 seconds, or 0.00023% of Earth's history. Here's the climate since us Homo sapiens with brains just like today appeared, and how for roughly 96% of our existence, the climate kept shifting, which is seen as what prevented us developing civilization. That last 4% of stability on the very right, that includes everything from the Stone Age to today. The world of the dinosaurs was over 7 degrees C warmer, with far more CO2, and it supported life, so why were we worried about just plus 3 C or less? Because even returning to the kinds of climate shifts that humans have faced for almost all of our history would be enough to disrupt our complex society, our food supply, cities, and where we can live. Reducing Earth's capacity to support us from 8 billion to under 1 billion and meaning seven out of eight would perish, a scenario which could unfold by 2100, within the lifetime of children born today. And that's where this debate really breaks down. This misconception makes both sides miss the real point. The planet doesn't need saving, we do. Saving not necessarily from our extinction, but from sufficient change to cause the breakdown of our systems that depend on the current rare and unprecedented stability. 